It's time for the Matt LeCroy Show on Fox Sports 1460. Brought to you by the Holiday Inn Middletown. Now with today's show, here's Terry Byram. Well, I'm here with uh, Matt LeCroy before game two of this three-game series with the Bowie Bay Sox. And uh, we're going to skip last night. Uh, Let's talk about what it's like to be a minor league coach and a minor league staff member because it's different in the minor leagues than in the major leagues. So we'll just go one by one. We'll start with your pitching coach, Chris Mahalik. Well, uh, you know, Chris's job is to facilitate uh, each player's program. And uh, each program is uh, is determined by our farm director, Mark Shalaba, and, and our pitching coordinator, uh, Paul Minhart. And uh, they come up with a plan with each person. Uh, and uh, uh, Chris's job is to facil- facilitate that program. Uh, so he's here. He runs all their bullpen sessions. He does some of the scouting part of it and the video work, uh, uh, the fielding practice for pitchers. He's over it. So uh, a lot of a lot of responsibility. Uh, but the main focus is is facilitating and making sure that each person is plan is getting executed and they're they getting better. And now Brian Rupp. Well, Ruppy, uh, he's he's uh, he's a workaholic. You know, he has to. Uh, similar to Chris, uh, they have a plan with each player. Uh, Troy Gingrich and uh, puts up a plan for not only our team but each player. And uh, Ruppy has to facilitate it. Now, Ruppy, uh, he's always in the cage. Uh, he's also uh, helps me with the infielders. Uh, he he puts up a defensive plan. Me and him together. Um, uh, but he's he's got a pretty tough job. I mean, it's, you, you see him all the time going down in the cage, and uh, but they they all do a, a nice job for me. And and uh, uh, but uh, it's a lot of work. You know, minor league coaches they put a lot of time and effort to each player, uh, and it takes a lot of hours uh, out of the day. And uh, they both done a nice job. And then the coordinators for both of them, you mentioned Troy Gingrich and Paul Minhart. They come through about once every three to four weeks just to check on the players and, and get an update. Yeah, they both stay in constant contact with both coordinators, uh, making sure that uh, everybody's on the same page and seeing how each guy's progressing. And if there's any problems that arise, they, they make sure they make contact uh, uh, to make sure we make the changes. Uh, but this is just another set of eyes when they come into town to see if they can help Somebody fix a problem or see what it, somebody's doing really well. So, uh, uh, you know, they got their work cut out for them. Uh, they're responsible for 100 or so players and making sure they develop. And then here with Ruppy and Chris, they they have their share of players that they have to uh, put on their shoulders. So, you know, and I also got uh, my trainer, Eric Montague. I mean, he, he plays a big part in these guys staying on the field. And and then um, uh, Tony Rogowski, strength coach. I mean, he's, he's up early with these guys in the weight room making sure that – they stay as strong as possible. The nutrition side of it is 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 a big part of it now. So he's over that side, and uh, they all play a big part in each player's development. I'm I'm really lucky to have all four of them. They they do a nice job and make my job easier. Now, uh, what about your job specifically? You know, people think of about a manager and they think maybe in the big leagues, but your job is different than that. Yeah, it's totally different. I mean, I have to make sure uh, uh, you know everybody's uh, doing everything right, which I don't have a problem. with. None of my staff members, they do a really nice job. I don't have to worry about it. And, uh, you know, for me, I have to, the discipline part of it, the organization of uh, each day and putting the lineups together, putting some scouting reports together. So a lot of different things that uh, a lot of people don't think about because uh, they think of a manager just running a ball game. But it, a lot more goes into it. You know, you deal with personal issues. You deal with, um, you know, guys not feeling good playing and, and uh, making sure that they're in the right state of mind. So, you know, uh, but I'm lucky to have my staff. I mean, they, it's one of the hardest working staffs I've ever had, and they do a great job. All right, man, thanks a lot.